What is up, guys? I am back after a long time of not uploading. Um, we're going to be uploading a live today in the OU tier. Uh, I've been finding a lot of success with this team that Joey actually used on one of his lives. And uh, I wanted to uh, to show you guys, showcase it off a little bit more because it's actually really good. Um, and I've been having a lot of success with it, like I said. And uh, I really hope I didn't just jinx myself. If you guys are wondering where I've been, uh, I was in London with Johnny about a week and a half ago. And then when I came back, I found out that all my teams were gone. Uh, that kind of demotivated me a little bit from recording. Uh, I haven't been uh, playing my league matches as consistently as I was, would like either. I'm hoping to have a, like a triple upload uh, this Friday to catch you guys up with the PCL. Tell you uh, what's been happening there. But uh, we are going to hop into a live. We also got Calyx on screen today because I'm bringing those back. People seem to like them for some reason. Uh, so yeah, well, some people anyway. Uh, so we're going to find a few games with this team. Uh, like I said, it's really, really solid. Uh, speaking of solid, we've got Solid Rock, uh, <laughs> Rhyperior over here, and uh, this team looks kind of Metacham weak, actually. I kind of just spam high jump kick and something dies. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's lead off with, I think, uh, Excadrill is always a lead of choice here. As he leads off with Latios, this is fine. I am focused Sash, of course, so even if he has Surf, I'm okay. Um, if he does go for Surf on the second turn, I can always switch out into Keldeo, go for an Icy Wind if he's choiced. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. He is going to go for Psy Shock turn one. It's not going to do too much. He has Life Orb. I think he's just trying to break my Sash for some other move. Uh, I'm actually going to hard into Coco here, expecting a Draco Meteor. Let's see. Uh, as he does just go for another Psy Shock. Okay, so good play, uh, I guess. Uh, we will just go for... I can go for the Dazzling Limb. Let's find out if that kills. I don't know this calc. Latios, uh, Life Orb Attacker versus Tapu Coco. Um, where's Coco? Coco is right here. Offensive pivot, give me Dazzling Gleam. HP Ice doesn't do that much, so I'm, I'm assuming the Dazzling Gleam is not going to do too much more. Uh, 64 to 76. Uh, it's not even a roll. I'm going to go for a U-turn. He's probably just going to Psy Shock again. Uh, so I'm just going to go back into Driller here. I should be able to take two Psy Shocks, right? Maybe. Uh, he goes for Defog, so that's fine. I'm going to go for uh, Stealth Rocks again. He goes for another Psy Shock, crits me that time. And uh, I'm just going to spam rocks because rocks are really good against him. Uh, if he has roost, he has roost, but I'm just going to keep uh, spamming rocks. I have more rocks than he has defogs. So uh, he does have roost. This is fine. I'm just going to keep going for stealth rock. I don't care what he does. And uh, I can revenge him with... Uh, not sure, actually. Just going to keep going for stealth rocks here. Uh, as he goes for roost again. Uh, Could have toxic him all this time. He's just going to keep spamming roost. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to keep spamming rocks. Does he go for Defog here? No, he goes for another Roost. I'm going to go for a Toxic this time and see what he does. Um, if he Defogs, that's a good turn to Defog. Good job. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him, guys. He got me. Uh, he's probably going to knock me out here. What can I do? Can I go hard Zygarde and double into Coco? I think that's my play. Um, I'm going to go hard Zygarde on his Psy Shock. Let's see if he commits to it. He does, and uh, he's probably just going to go for a Draco Meteor right here. I am going to double into my Coco, and uh, let's see if he drops it. No, he just goes for another Psy Shock. Okay, so he risks his Latios again, uh, and I am going to now go Metacham, Fake Out, put some pressure on this thing. I still have my Stealth Rocker. I have a few Mons that I'm faster than, uh, being Bulu, Celesteela, and, of course, the Rhyperior. He does choose to go hard into Celesteela. Uh, I don't have a great countermeasure to this, so I think I'm just going to high jump kick and uh, crit it. And that's how we win games, guys. We just crit mons. <laughs> that's that's all you need to do. Just just crit. Um, Latios can come back in here, I guess. But if all it's going to do is spam Psy Shock, Psy Shock's not going to knock me out. So his Latios is going to come back, and I'm going to go for Nice Punch. Uh, I don't care what he does here. Realistically, he does go for the Psy Shock. I'm going to knock out his Latios with a Nice Punch. That's nice. He goes into his Greninja. Uh, again, not a great countermeasure to this. Uh, I can go into Keldeo, however, hopefully he doesn't have uh, extra sensory. He does go for the Dark Pulse, so that's good. And uh, I do kind of want to double into Halucha right here, predicting his uh, his Tapu Bulu. I'm not going to uh, be able to kill it because I have my item, and I'm not going to be able to get rid of that. But I could also double into Metacham. Um, yeah, let's go hard Metacham. Let's see what he does. He is going to double into Tapu Bulu. That's fantastic. We are going to go for the Ice Punch right here and uh, bring this thing down to 17%. Uh, that is a very good amount. And unless he is Scarfed, I am getting my rocks back up right now. And then I have Scarf Keldeo to clean up the game, essentially, with um, 
with either Scald or Secret Sword should be able to do the job. He does go for another Horn Leech, that is fine. Uh, I am going to go hard into Halucha, and I can fire off a Poison Jab if I want to. Uh, I'm not ever going to be faster than anything else because I sacked my Coco early, and uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for the jab, knock out his Bulu. There we go. All right, so that thing's gone. I think uh, Keldeo plus Zygarde can win the game very easily since we crit the Celesteela, luckily. He does go into Greninja. I'm assuming a water move is coming my way. Nothing on his team wants to take Secret Sword, though. Uh, I'm just going to go for a high jump kick. He does go for the Specs Hydro Pump. I'm going to go into Keldeo and fire off that Secret Sword. Uh, Zard doesn't take two after rocks. And uh, I don't know if Rhyperior does. We're about to find out. Uh, it does take only 41%. I am going to go hard Zygarde here. Hopefully he doesn't have Ice Punch. I do have the Banded Thousand Arrows. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Not a big deal. Just going to go for Thousand Arrows. He's going to sack his Zard. Uh, I'm assuming just to go back into Ash Gren. But now his Rhyperior can't to take two Secret Swords. And I don't think it can knock out Keldeo from where it is with an Earthquake. So I'm just going to go for a uh, Thousand Arrows. Dark Pulse isn't even going to knock me out. And Thousand Arrows is going to take out his Greninja. And I am faster than his Rhyperior, of course, because that thing is slow as all hell. And uh, I'm going to win with Keldeo. So, yeah, there we go. So <laughs> that's the end of the first game. Got a little lucky with the crit uh, on um, on his Celesteela, of course. But uh, I don't know. His, his play with Latios was weird. At any given moment, I could have Toxicked it. And then he would have had to play around the rocks for the rest of the game. Uh, I did manage to get back up my rocks eventually, but uh, either way, uh, I think I played this team a little bit earlier, uh, or a variant of it, something very similar. Mega Swampert is now out, so very scary rain, but Halucha actually deals with rain so, so well with the electric terrain up. Like, you guys have no idea. Uh, with the uh, plus one defense that it gets from the electric seed, it can set up on Swampert to some extent, uh, even on its ice punch, and then just sweep with uh, plus two acro plus um, high jump kick. So, yeah, uh, plus two acro actually kills um, Kingdra after rocks, if you guys are wondering. And I just need to weaken the Pelipper and everything else drops. So, as long as he doesn't have Shuriken on his, uh, on his Greninja, which I'm assuming it will. Anyway, let's get into this. I am going to lead off with Metacham, as he is going to lead with his Swampert. That is fantastic for me. Uh, I am just going to go for a Fake Out, turn one. I'm not sure why he led with this. Uh, he is going to Mega Evolve, and uh, I'm going to get off a Fake Out. Very nice and juicy fake out, and I think high jump kick kills from that damage. Uh, at least it should. He does go hard into his Pelipper. This is going to take a ton. I don't care if it's a resist. It takes 45%. Uh, and then I'm just going to go for the Zen Headbutt on the following turn, or the Ice Punch. Uh, Zen Headbutt seems uh, safer, as he does stay into Roost, and he can lose his Pelipper now but because he did that. Um, not sure if I want to take a Hurricane. Not sure if I want to do that, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to risk it. He can go into his Greninja. I think that's his best play, for sure. I have Keldeo, though, and as long as it doesn't have extra sensory, like, you, you'd be surprised how many people don't run extra sensory on their Greninjas. Um, because it's, it's like most of the time it's a useless move. It's really only Toxapex and uh, Keldeo that it's good for. But those two mons are such huge issues. Like, look at his team. Without Mega Swampert, what does he do to uh, Toxapex? Like, I, I know he has a Latios, but no. <laughs> Just, there's, there's too many responses to Latios right now. In the tier like I don't have one but there are a lot so anyway um, yeah he has to risk this uh, this roll on Pelipper high jump kick did 45 and Zen headbutt did 52 so I'm assuming that was actually a low roll on Zen headbutt I know I'm uh, I'm jolly but that's definitely a roll <laughs> to kill and it's probably a roll in my favor from the looks of it I could calc it right now but I don't want to miss a second of the action uh, he's taking a while so let's let's calc it Medicham Mega Jolly versus Pelipper. Uh, physically defensive. Zen Headbutt over Thunder Punch. Uh, Zen Headbutt is 51 to 60. So yeah, it's definitely in my favor. I got a low roll there, actually. 52 is a very, very low roll. I could have killed him easily. It's taking a while to make his play. Not sure what he's going to do here. Uh, I, could I could still have Thunder Punch as my final move. So he has to be very, very careful. But then I couldn't touch Lando. So he's got to keep that in mind. Uh, then again, I have a Scarf Keldeo. I have a Tapu Koko with potential HP Ice. So, anyway, he goes into uh, Ferrothorn hard, which um, screams Protect to me. Um, either way, I'm pretty comfortable going into my Excadrill right here. Because uh, if Protect is his play, then whatever. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Uh, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks of my own. And uh, if his Swampert wants to come back in, I am Sashed. So, I'm glad I got this in before the Rocks went up. 
And if his Pelipper wants to come in, I'm going to Toxic that thing and then wear it down uh, with the Toxic. I'm going to spin away these rocks, whatnot. So let's see what he does. He might just want to get up spikes or something. We'll see. He is going to go hard into his Kingdra, actually. All right, so he's going to let his Kingdra die, essentially. Uh, I could just go for the Rapid Spin, but I don't think it's that much of an issue right now to where I feel like I have to go for it. I'd much rather go for Earthquake and into Fake Out and knock out the Kingdra. Uh, and he has to waste two turns of rain to knock me out, so Sash is going to save me. Uh, the rocks will be up for the remainder of the game, but Fake Out should be able to knock out Kingdra from here. And if not Fake Out, then Fake Out into something else. So uh, with one turn of rain left, I'm very comfortable going for a Fake Out. Uh, his only play is to go into Ferrothorn right here. And uh, showing that he didn't have Protect, I'm going to go for a high jump kick. If he goes into Pelipper to get up his rain, so be it. Uh, his Kingdra is low enough to where it dies to an E speed. Uh, he goes into his Greninja. I'm just going to go hard Keldeo right here. Let's see what he does. He goes for the Hydro Pump. That is definitely Specs. I'm going for Secret Sword. As he brings in his Latios, that is fine with me. Uh, I can bring in my Tapu Koko, which lives any hit, and can go for Dazzling Gleam and revenge this. I did get a crit on his Latios, by the way. He goes for a Psychic. Uh, if he's Scarfed, then Zygarde can come in and Thousand Arrows. Let's go for Dazzling Gleam. He is Scarfed. Um, that's tough, actually. That's very tough. I think I kill almost everything with Halucha now. The only thing in my way is his Swampert. But I do get the plus one defense. I'm pretty convinced I kill Latios. So I could go into Halucha, Acro. Do I kill Gren? I definitely kill Gren. If I kill a, uh, no, I don't kill Gren. But I do enough damage. You know what? Uh, I have the Scarf Keldeo on the back. I think I'm okay to where I can go into Halucha now and go for the Acrobatics. Uh, with no item, I should be able to kill Latios, no problem. I'm also faster than Scarf Latios. It hits 525, I believe. So I'll be faster than this. I'll be able to knock it out. If he goes hard Swampert, that's actually a misplay because I can two-hit KO that uh, after Rocks, potentially. So, we'll see. With the combination of Acro plus uh, High Jump Kick, I should be able to Oko it. Uh, to it KO it, excuse me. So, let's see what his play is. Um, I do have the uh, the item lost. So, I am faster than his Latios. I'm faster than everything on his team. Uh, I think even Scarf Ninja is uh, is outsped. Uh, Swift Swim Kingdra's outsped. And it's low enough to where I can kill it with an Acro. His Pelipper might be able to... No, not from where it's at. It definitely can't live. So, let's see what his play is. I'm pretty sure Swampert can't knock me out. Swampert, uh, max, let's calc max HP, uh, max attack, adamant, uh, well, it wouldn't be max HP, right? It would be max speed. Max speed, adamant versus Howlucha. I'm just going to calc this up real quick. Uh, I am adamant, no item, no item, plus one defense. Uh, I have a lot of HP investment, actually. I'm just going to check the team builder real quick. Uh, 124 HP. Uh, he didn't go into it, but I want to see afterwards how much I do to it and how much he does in return to me. He can definitely knock me out with a... Okay, so I do 45, which should put him in range of uh, Fake Out. So that should be okay. Yeah, I'm just going to acro here and knock out his Pelipper. I do get a crit. That doesn't matter. Uh, Gren might be able to knock me out with, um, with Water Shuriken. Uh, in the rain, if it specs, if it gets enough hits. He goes into his Swampert. This is fine. Uh, I think I E-Speed Sweep after I get off the Fake Out. I'm going to go for... Uh... High Jump Kick is stronger, but I need the damage. No matter what, I need the damage. So I'm going to go for the uh, Min Roll. Uh, I actually live his Waterfall, and I can go for another Acro. He should have Water Shuriken on his Greninja regardless. See, this is the <laughs> this is the power of Halucha. Plus one defense lives Waterfall in the rain from Mega Swampert. Incredible. He's going to go for Water Shuriken, of course. He's going to get his uh, his Ash form. Uh, I'm going to go into Metacham and fake him out. And that should put him in range of uh, E-Speed from Zygarde. And I should be able to sweep with that. So I'm going to go for Ice Punch. He's going to knock me out, of course. And now Bandit E-Speed does the job and knocks out this plus King Draft or Rocks. So that's an easy win. This team is really strong, guys. <laughs> it's just so strong. Uh, GG to my opponent. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I am up to 1705. I don't even know if that's on the ladder, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I kind of dropped a bit. It definitely is on the ladder, but whereabouts? 
Uh, it's 303. Okay, not not the best. Uh, I bought a blue snowball, and um, it's actually not as good as the mic that I'm using right now. So I was kind of disappointed, but uh, it still does the job, and it's very good for when you want to record with other people in the same space. Uh, which was something that I had trouble with uh, with Johnny when we recorded a live in... Uh, we haven't uploaded it yet, but we recorded a live in um, in London when we were together. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys that one. <laughs> uh, let's just say it didn't go the best. But I'm going to here lead off with uh, Excadrill because it leads super well against his, uh, his Smeargle. His Pinsir chooses to lead. Um, I think I just want to Toxic this thing. Put it on a timer. I hate that I don't have Rock Slide, but this set doesn't have room for Rock Slide. Uh, I could go Hard Coco, Volt Switch Out, or Dazzling Gleam straight away. Uh, either one works. Uh, but I don't want to take an Earthquake with Coco. He's definitely going for Earthquake no matter what. So we'll go for the Toxic. Uh, I don't necessarily need Rocks up this game. He's actually going to switch out into his Bisharp on the Toxic. That's a cool play. Uh, I'm going to go straight for the Earthquake. Just because um, he actually goes for su Sucker Punch. I could have Rocks there. That's that's a curious play. He goes into his Smeargle. Uh, I'm going to Earthquake this thing. And I'm going to Rapid Spin Kill it after it gets up a Hazard. He goes for the Spore. Smart play. Uh, but I am going to attempt to Rapid Spin. And if I wake up, then I get it. If I don't... Okay, well, he goes Mimikyu anyway. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks here, actually. And I don't wake up. Three turns in a row. Alright, cool. Um, let's see. How do I beat this thing? I don't think I do. Stealth Rocks. Alright, so he takes a Life Orb hit. That doesn't really matter. Um, he's faster than Coco, I believe. And I didn't break his Disguise because I got max Sleep Turns, which is a little bit annoying. And I think he kills everything at plus two. Yeah, he definitely does. All right, we'll go Coco. Uh, we'll try to... We'll try to go for a Volt Switch. Shadow Claw is going to destroy me, and that is going to be GG. There's nothing I could do there. I needed the wake up uh, on that turn. I was going for Stealth Rocks regardless, so I would have lost, but... All right, so this is where... Halucha can still beat this team because it has Poison Jab. Like, Halucha's ridiculous against Rain. Like, it's actually really, really good. <laughs> they don't have anything for it. Um, I'm going to lead here with uh, my Coco. As he leads off with his own Coco. I'm actually going to go for a Dazzling Gleam turn one. Uh, if he goes into Ferrothorn, I can just U-turn into... Or Volt Switch, actually, into my... Um, he actually goes Swampert. Nice. He lets me weaken that. That's good. All right. We're going to U-turn here into Zygarde, I believe. Zygarde should be able to outspeed Adamant. Uh, and also kill with Thousand Arrows. Alternatively, I could go Halucha. But I think he's going to go for Waterfall regardless. I really don't want to go into Keldeo on this. Uh, yeah, I think Zygarde's the best play. Zygarde as he goes for the Earthquake. Okay, so he does commit to going for Earthquake. I'm going to go for Thousand Arrows. It hits something very, very hard, regardless of what it is. He's going to go into his Pelipper. This is going to take a ton. I don't care if you're physically defensive. It takes 46%. Uh, I don't really want to take a Scald, but at the same time, I don't have a switch in, so I'm just going to Thousand Arrows again. Uh, he can switch into his Ferrothorn if he wants. That takes about 40 so, that's not really a concern. He lets his uh, Pelipper take another hit. Goes for a U-turn. I'm assuming Kingdra's coming in here. Uh, that seems the most likely. I don't think I can hard switch into Keldeo on Kingdra. He actually chooses to go into Swampert. Okay. Alright. Um, Earthquake did 45. So, I'm assuming he's going to go for a water move. Uh, can I outplay his rain? Not really. I think I have to sack here. That's fine. That's okay. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, Keldeo can live an Earthquake. Can go for a Secret Sword. His Pelipper is in range. His Torn, if it's Life Orb, doesn't want to take a Scald. So I think he would go Ferrothorn. Regardless. Um, I could also go Drill. Get up my rocks and make sure his rain never goes up again. And I think that's what I might do. Uh, alternatively, what's my other plays here? Yeah, you know what? Let's just make sure his rain never goes up again. Let's go for rocks. He doesn't have hazard removal outside of Pelipper. So I'll take the waterfall. As long as he doesn't flinch me, uh, I'm good. So I get up my rocks. Uh, he's going to waste another turn of rain going for uh, Earthquake, I assume. 
He should go for Waterfall. Again, because it hits my team the hardest. Um. Yeah, let's go to Keldeo. I'm willing to risk Keldeo. As he does go for another Waterfall, it does 47%. Uh, that means that he actually might be adamant. I'm going to calc that real quick. Uh, adamant to Keldeo in the rain. Keldeo, Choice Scarf in the rain uh, with Waterfall. Let's see. 40 to 40. Yeah, it's a max roll on um, on Adamant. So I might outspeed him here. 2, 3, 9 times 2 divided by 1.5. Yeah, I'm faster than him. So I can actually scald him here and play off a of burn. He's going to make the uh, the Pelipper sack on my scald. Not really a big deal uh, because his Kingdra is going to come in. And it's on its second to last turn of rain right here. So yeah, I'm going to sack my Excadrill. Keep my Keldeo alive because it's still very good for the late game. And he's going to go for a Hydro Pump. I'm going to go into Metacham and Fake Out. Even if he wants to bring in his Torn or his Coco, I get off damage on those things. And I'm going to burn the last turn of Rain. He might have Rain Dance on another Mon. It's very possible. Uh, potentially Mega Swampert. Uh, this thing's going to take a ton from a Fake Out. Just so you know. Yeah, it's going to take 31%. I'm going to go Hard Coco here uh, on a potential Flying move. And then I can just Volt Switch out. I think uh, Dazzling might kill his Swampert. Uh, he goes for the U-Turn. Very good play. Uh, he has Life Orb. Confirmed. So that's good to know. And now that my electric terrain is up, actually, um, I win. Like, I actually just straight win. As long as I connect high jump kick. Like, that's the only thing I need to do. Uh, we're going to go for the Dazzling Gleam right here. We are going to let Coco drop. Uh, as he actually chooses to go for Waterfall, so it doesn't drop. Kind of unfortunate. I kind of wanted it to go down. But uh, it's fine. It's okay. I can always get my electric terrain back up after. If it does uh, go down. It goes down in two turns, so... Um... Yeah, this thing is really, really strong. <laughs> like, this thing takes physical hits actually very well, uh, surprisingly. Coco does do that very, very well. Uh, I'm going to go for a uh, Z Thunder, because if I switch out, he gets up a hazard, and I can't switch back in anyway. So I'm going to get a crit right there. He does go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, I'm going to go for another Thunder in Electric Terrain, as uh, that's going to do 24. Going to get the Para into the full Para. <laughs> And I might actually, I won't knock him out now because the, uh, the terrain is gone. But I can go for another Thunder right here. As uh, he goes for the Power Whip, knocks me out. And I think I can set up with Howlucha. The only problem is his Coco. Um, but Coco is... Well, Torn's at 36, so Secret Sword might be able to... Well, he still has the Coco. That's the issue. Okay, well, we're going to go into Howlucha. We are going to go for the... Uh, I have no reason not to go for high jump kick or even acro here. I'm just going to go for acro. He's just going to sack this. So that's going to go down. His torn's a problem. If his torn comes in and hits Hurricane, it is an issue. And I have to go into Keldeo after. And I have to predict the Kingdra coming in and go for Secret Sword. He actually chooses to go hard into Kingdra. But I outspeed you. Um, I don't really understand the play. Because now his Kingdra is going to be in range of Scald. So, yeah. I really don't get that play. That's 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 a misplay. Uh, I think Torn goes down to Scald as well because it's Life Orb. Tornadus, uh, Therian, Life Orb Attacker versus Keldeo, Scald, uh, outside of the rain. Yeah, 53% should be able to kill after Rocks because he w got out at 36. Uh, and how much does Coco take? Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco. Wait, hold on. On this side. Thank you. Uh, offensive pivot takes 58 to 69. So after a fake out and rocks, he should go down. So I think my play is to go Keldeo. Actually, this is tough. This is very tough. It's not necessarily a misplay. Because um, even if I go Keldeo... The problem is he goes into his <clears throat> into his Coco after and kills me. Um, hydro Pump is a roll. So actually, I have to lock myself in a Hydro Pump. That's annoying. Yeah, we got to go for, uh, for Hydro right here. As we do connect the first one, so that's good. He was locked into Surf. He wasn't killing me anyway, but... 
Um, he does go Coco. He can go for the electric move. I do miss Pump, unfortunately. He is going to go for Volt Switch, and that is going to be GG. Yeah. I lose to that miss, but uh, it was a roll anyway, and I think it was in his favor. Uh, no, it was about 50-50. But get another rain team. Like, what is going on today? What is with all these rain teams on the ladder? All right. I'm okay with it. Uh, I just lead Drill, I think. I want to lead something. You know what? I'm leading Zygarde because Pelipper is instantly threatened. His entire team is instantly threatened by this thing. I'm just going to go for Arrows, turn one. Uh, it, it is physically defensive, as usual. Uh, he's going to go for Skull. Does he get the burn? He is not rewarded, turn one. Excellent. And we are going to go for Arrows again. Uh, he lives on 1%, and now he's extremely threatened because that is a roll, and it might kill him. So... He's kind of forced to switch out here, and whatever takes a thousand arrows is weakened for late game e speed sweep. So I'm good with that. And uh, once I get rocks up, this Pelipper only has one switch in left. Uh, he's not going to risk his Pelipper. He is going to go straight into his Garchomp. Uh, he's going to take 60% right there. I am going to. I'm going to go hard Keldeo, because uh, Scarf Keldeo outspeeds Scarf Garchomp, and uh, Earthquake does not KO me, of course. And I am going to go for a Secret Sword, as that should be able to knock out his Garchomp. And now he's permitted to go into his Swampert. Okay. Interesting. Interesting that you would go into Swampert. Um, I like just Secret Sorting here. And he is adamant, so we do outspeed as he goes for Earthquake. Excellent. And uh, now what? <laughs> now, now what is the question? Um... I could go Drill and Earthquake, I could go Zygarde, but he probably has Ice Punch. Uh, he has two turns of Rain left. That is an issue. That is indeed an issue. Okay. Um, Alright, so here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to go Coco. And I'm going to attempt to sack my Zygarde. Should he go for Waterfall? Um, he should knock me out, in theory because he's adamant. He does go for Waterfall. He does not knock me out, but this is fine, because now I go for E-Speed. And I get off the necessary damage. Uh, for Now Rain's gone, right? So And my Electric Terrain's still up. So I can go into Halucha, get the plus one defense, go for Swords Dance. I have my Speed Boost. I kill Pelipper. Uh, at plus two, I kill Kingdra. I kill Ferrothorn. And I kill Tapu Koko. Everything drops. As long as he doesn't freeze me with Ice Punch, I'm good to go. So he goes for Ice Punch. Uh, he does not freeze me. I go for Acro. We knock out the Swampert, and uh, that should be GG. Uh, Ferrothorn can try to come in and give me Iron Barb's damage, but if I go for a high jump kick, actually, I can go for another Acro. It doesn't even matter. He has leftovers, and it doesn't even matter. Uh, so this is going to drop. I'm still at 18%. That's more than enough. I can live. Uh, I, I just outspeed everything. Halucha outspeeds everything. It, it doesn't even matter, guys. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, as Coco comes in, it's going to die to Poison Jab at plus two. It just goes straight down. And then everything drops to Acro. So, Pelipper, dead. Uh, Kingdra doesn't outspeed me. No variant of Kingdra outspeeds this, no matter what. 295 speed is its max. That is GG. Uh, we go up to 1672. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to make it a 33, 34 minute live-ish. Uh, another team that's extremely weak to Halucha. However, he does have the Mega Sableye, which is an issue. Um, I am more than comfortable leading off with Coco here, but Excadrill just seems better in general. He doesn't have uh, an immediate counter. Like, this is why I let Excadrill. It might seem weird because it's a Lando, but I get to get up my rocks. Uh, he goes for Earthquake, uh, showing me that he is more than likely Scarfed as well. And I can go hard into Keldeo here. And, uh, ooh, that did a lot. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Landorus, Therian, offensive, uh, versus Keldeo. Okay, yeah. Um, it's Jolly Scarf, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, that's a, a, a reasonable roll. I'm going to go Halucha on his Earthquake, as he actually chooses to double into his Toxapex, so not great, but not the worst. Um, I think we can just go into Driller here. In case he wants to go for, um, yeah, for that, exactly. And I'm going to attempt to spin. If he goes into uh, Sableye, it's fine. He is going to just throw out a Skull. That's awesome. I'm going to go into, out into Tapu Koko now. And I'm actually going to go for a Volt Switch. Even though he has a, a Landorus, because I have the Halucha, 
I want to do this now. He goes into Jirachi. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to get off the Volt Switch right here. It's not going to do a lot. That shows me that he's probably Spit F Rachi. And that means the Thousand Arrows basically picks up a kill here. He can go Serp. I don't care. Uh, this is still going to take a good amount of damage. It's Banded, Thousand Arrows. As uh, now what I can do is I can switch out into my Coco. Uh, take a Leaf Storm if he wants to go for that. Leech Seed, that's fine. I can go for a U-Turn here. If he goes into Landorus thinking that I only have Volt Switch, then he's going to get caught. Jirachi comes in. Going to go for the U-Turn again. Back into Zygarde. Uh, he is caught in the Vortex. And uh, this Jirachi is, uh, is not looking too healthy. He goes into Serp. Uh, Serp is going to take 43%. Uh, he's going to go for Leaf Storm. That's not going to do too much. And we're going to knock out his only switch into Thousand Arrows. So that's looking great. Should he go into Sableye? I will hard into Tapu Koko. Um, he can't knock me off. If he burns me, it's not a problem. And uh, yeah, he does choose to burn me. I'm going to go for the uh, Dazzling Gleam right here. If he has Protect, he'll click it now. It's a Scout. Uh, and then I'll go for the Volt Switch. So he does Mega Evolve. He does go for the Protect. Uh, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here. Expecting his Jirachi to come in. If his Lando comes in again, it's not a problem. Uh, he does Mega Evolve as well. So what I'm going to do here is go hard into Keldeo. Expecting him to want a U-turn. As he just goes for Earthquake. So essentially he's just given me the game. Uh, as long as I can connect high jump kick on... So actually, does that kill? Uh, Celesteela. It might not kill. Especially defensive versus Halucha. Halucha, this, Adamant. I do a ton to Toxapex. I might even kill it. it might, I think it's a roll. Uh, plus two, no item. We'll check this and we'll check Toxapex. Okay, so this actually dies. Specially Defensive dies to High Jump Kick. And Toxapex, physically defensive, uh, to Acro at plus two. Actually, that does nothing. Why? Jeez. Uh, okay. Well, we will go into... We'll go into Halucha anyway. We'll go for the Swords Dance. He should switch out. If he goes Sableye, Sableye should drop, right? Sableye is not that bulky. Hold on. Shutdown usage, uh, 77, and I think he, yeah, he was low. Yeah, okay. Cool, so I'm just going to go for an acro here and hope that he's, yeah, okay, so he's not fully physically defensive. He does go for the haze. That doesn't really matter because uh, I still have my speed boost. That's based on my ability. And I'm going to go for another Swords Dance here. I just did 78 to him, so he has to bank on a Scald Burn, essentially. Uh, he just goes for Haze again. I'm just going to keep going for Swords Dance until he messes up and uh, recovers. So, let's do that. Uh, I think he will never... How many Swords Dances do I have? As many as he has Hazes, right? Uh, no, he has more Hazes. Okay. Alright, well, I'm just going to uh, Acro then. Screw it. I'm going to knock out this Toxapex because it's a pain. There we go. He goes into his Mega Sableye. He's going to try to burn me. Just going to go back into Coco. And uh, this time I think I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. Uh, regardless. We'll see. He goes through Recover. He's going to... He's going to... Definitely go for the Protect. No matter what. And I'm going to Dazzling Gleam again. Because if he goes Lando, then he's going to take a hit. So, I'm good with that. Uh, he goes into Jirachi. I'm actually going to Gigavolt Havoc here. Because it should kill. Based on the, uh, the Volt Switch damage from before. As it does with a crit... Uh, he goes into Lando. I'm going back into Halucha. I don't even care. I'm not letting you Earthquake me. He goes for uh, U-Turn. I don't care about that. He's going to go into Sableye. Uh, I'm going to go for a Acrobatic straight away as he goes back into Landorus. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to get off some damage on this thing. 42% at minus one. Yes. All right, so this thing has very limited switch-ins. Uh, Zygarde can definitely clean now. Uh, he let his Sableye take damage. Um... I'm just going to go for Acro. He's going to U-turn anyway, yeah. Probably go back into uh, Sableye. Yep, there we go. The Celesteel has not come in yet, uh, telling me that it's probably not offensive from the looks of it. I'm going to go back into Coco. He's just going to recover anyway. Or Willow. Uh, he does go for the recover. Just going to Dazzle here. And I'm going to Dazzle again. And his Lando only has one switch in left. So I'm cool with this. He does stay in with his Sableye. Takes a huge hit. Goes for recover. He's definitely going to go for the uh, Protect right here. Uh, I'm going to go for another Dazzling Gleam. And I'm going to fish for a Thunder Para. Let's see if we get it. That's a crit. All right. So goodbye, Sableye. Awesome. All right. So we're able to break through that. Um, a little lucky again. 
but uh, we do end up at $16.99. That sounds like a price for something. Guys, uh, this, this was awesome. Honestly, I missed this. Uh, this was uh, a great team and a great live. I'm glad to be back uh, in action. This might be short-lived, though, because I am going to be operated uh, from my shoulder, which dislocates itself a million times a year. Um, <laughs> very, very soon. So that's next week, actually. So I might be out of commission in terms of recording. Or, either that, or uh, I'm actually going to be off from work for a while. So I might be recording more. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but uh, either way, uh, big things coming up for me. And uh, I'm glad to be back. If you guys did enjoy the live, of course, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I will leave a paste bin to the team in the description, just like Joey does, uh, because it is his team. Shoutouts to him. I'll leave a link to, uh, to his channel. You guys should all know Pokeaim. Uh, but if you guys want to go uh, quick click and go to see what he's most recently uploaded, I guess that link is there too. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is the, uh, the live. Again, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!